So question 15, right, it's the same setup, just that, um, it's the same setup, just that, now, they are asked, we are asked to find, what's the angular velocity required to maintain constant angle of theta equals to uh, 25 degrees. So basically, all we need to do is we need to substitute in the values of m equals to 0 0.20, l equals to 0 0.8, and theta is equal to 25 into, into, into the equations we have. Um, and in this case, we see that we see that uh, we actually need to use the equation over here now, right? Because we have m, right? We have m over here. We have l, but we don't have omega, right? We don't know t also, right? So we have we we, we have two unknowns in this case so we need two equations and so the other equation will come from this side where we have where we have theta right so we have cosine theta we have m and we have g right so we can find t and after we find t we can find omega okay so from here you know that t equals to mg over cosine omega, uh, cosine theta sorry cosine theta and substituting this inside here we have that um, mg over cosine theta equals to m omega squared l. And rearranging it, we have that omega equals to square root of g over l cosine theta. Okay, so substituting in the values, um, we get that omega is equals to square root 9.81 over 0.8 times sine 25 degrees and that will give us 3.68 radians oh, okay they, they're asking it to 2sf so in this case 3.7 radians per second right remember the units of omega is radians per second so the answer is d yeah so that's how you do question 15 i'll see you in the next question